Well, as cases continue to fall, researchers are taking a closer look at patients suffering from long haul COVID. Those still suffering beyond the usual infection period, and they are discovering that some interesting trends. KKL 9's Rena Nakano explains why they believe women are more susceptible to some long haul COVID symptoms. Home care nurse Regina Juarez's COVID journey began in June 2020. And we were seeing tons of patients with COVID, so that's how I got COVID. It was before vaccines were available, so she started treatment. I got better, you know, after a week or so with the steroid medications, but then when those finished, I got really sick again. Researchers say one in three Americans like Juarez becomes a COVID long hauler. Shortness of breath, palpitation, dizziness. Low Melinda University health cardiologist Dr. Purvi Parwani says even people who had mild or no initial COVID symptoms can become long haulers and those symptoms can actually be much worse. It does send systemic inflammatory damage to the heart. In addition to the virus that damages the heart and the vascular line directly. I tried swimming, but I just, it's just too taxing. Dr. Parwani says while she was treating patients here, she noticed an interesting trend. COVID-19 mortality is more in men. More men go to ICU, but long haul COVID is seen more in women. Why that is, researchers don't know yet, but they believe it has something to do with the biological and hormonal differences between men and women. Right now, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good that, with my heart. Juarez has since gotten her shots and continues to take medication to treat her symptoms. She hopes her story inspires more women to ask their providers questions about long COVID and to take the time to focus on themselves. We tend to spend all of our time giving, 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 and forgetting that we need to take some time to prepare ourselves for the long haul and to continue loving those people. In Loma Linda, Rena Nakano, KCAL 9 News.